On this episode, I give the full introduction to myself and the show and what you can expect from future episodes. Also coming up in the show, a 21 year old suspect in US Intel leak was identified using his Instagram photos. Chinese manufacturer Meek stirs the water by announcing an autofocus 85mm lens for the Canon RF mount. That and more in today's show. It's time to get started with the credits. This is The Photography Junkie. Hello and welcome to The Photography Junkie podcast. My name is Jay and I will be the host for the show going forward. And I just want to say a big thank you for deciding to give this show a listen. A little about myself for you. Uh, I'm based in, up in the northwest of the UK. I'm a portrait photographer and I've been a photographer now for over 20 years. Uh, some of you may know me from a couple of years ago where I used to run a podcast going by the same name. I really enjoyed doing the show and did some great interviews with some really interesting artists and I hope to bring those back uh, from the archives along with new interviews of interesting inspiring people that I hope you'll also like. If you want me to reach out to someone that inspires you then join the community over at thephotographyjunkie.com and suggest them there and I will do my best to get them on the show. Speaking of the community, let me bring to your attention the main site where you can be part of the show too. Each week so I'll be picking things posted by you at home to be part of the show. Only a couple of people have joined us so far, but it's my intention that the community will become part of the uh, core of the show. So head over to thephotographyjunkie.com, sign up for free and get involved in the conversation. Okay, so here is how the show is going to work. So you can plan the listen on the way to work or however you consume the podcast. Uh, the podcast is going to be released every Monday at 8 a.m. UK time. The podcast will alternate between a show in today's format where I share with you some news stories and also highlight the community with any goings on on the site. This will come out every other week. And then on the weeks in between, I will be bringing you an interview with a creative that I've found either interesting or inspiring or both. There are many already in the bag and I'm super excited to bring them to you. The interviews are in the form of a free flowing conversation, which I hope you'll find interesting. So that's it. That's what you can expect from the show moving forward. I hope you find it fun and interesting. But if you have suggestions, I want to hear from you. Uh, join the community, have your say, as this will be sh your show as much as mine. Anyway, it's time to start the show. Let's bring in the news. Our first story today is about a 21 year old National Guard soldier from the USA who has been arrested for the leak of classified documents. MN First Class Jack Douglas Tiexier, I'm sure I've uh, butchered that name, was taken into custody by heavily armed FBI agents from his mother's house. He will now face charges leaking of classified documents after he's published photos of pages containing national security secrets, which the US had not even shared with its allies, to an online gaming chat group called the Thug Shaker Central. This story has caused considerable embarrassment to the USA military, as apparently the Russians were releasing the information to its public, albeit with doctored numbers on the amount of Russian casualties. And then USA Intelligence has then picked up on this and traced the information back to the Discord server. The interesting thing besides the question of how this low ranking person got access to the documents is how they managed to track him down. According to the story, officials had tracked the leak to the Discord group where the Airman Douglas had been allegedly leaking the documents to impress his friends. They've matched the pictures of the countertops of his mother's house, which he's put 
the documents on to take the pictures off. And the matches were made using his Instagram posts where he had posted the front of the worktops. So not only has he allegedly had the documents, but he's also taking them home to his mum's house to take the pictures of them. I'm not sure what is in store for Mr Douglas or whether stupidity can even be used as a good defence under the Espionage Act, but my feeling is he's going to see a substantial prison term as a result of his actions. So moral story for this one is, number one, do not leak classified documents. Number two, be careful what you post on Instagram if you are going to leak them. The story is not uh, super photography heavy, but I thought it'd be interesting uh, to bring on this first episode. Anyway, it's time to move on with the next story of the show. In the second story today, Chinese manufacturer Meek have announced a new autofocus 85mm f1.4 for Canon's RF mount. If they succeed in bringing it to market, they will be the first third party manufacturer to do it as previous attempts from Samyang and Viltrox have failed due to Canon bringing out the lawyers against them, causing them to cease production. Canon confirmed last September that they are pursuing legal actions against manufacturers producing autofocus lenses for the RF system. Why Canon would choose such a path is way beyond me. The ability to fit almost any lens to a Sony camera via an adapter is a major selling point and surely added to its popularity. Mirrorless has, for me at least, brought on the expectation of being able to use third-party lenses on my main system. Regardless of how good a camera is, and the Canon RF system is a good system, I expect to have a choice when I purchase a lens. And that choice has to include third-party lenses. And until that happens, I can't personally recommend the Canon RF system to people. Meanwhile, Meek is pushing forwards with the lens Current specs for the lens are the 77 filter thread, aperture range of f1.4 to f16 via 12 blade diaphragm, so should produce some satisfying bokeh for those bokeh aficionados out there. Uh, being an 85mm, the main target for this lens will likely be for portraiture, and it will be good to see whether or not the lens has any character to it. That is, of course, if Canon's legal department do not get their way. Ultimately, when it comes to producing these third-party lenses, it's going to take a, a company to stand out there against them in court to cause any change. Price and release date is yet to be confirmed, but hopefully they'll bring this one to market. Keeping with Canon, our final story this week, Canon USA have apparently ignored the NFT crash last year and have decided to announce their own NFT marketplace called Kadabra. I suppose being late to the party is better than not showing up at all, but this is still a very strange move. Kadabra is described as an Ethereum based NFT marketplace dedicated to photography. The marketplace itself will offer photos across various categories, including wildlife, sports, lifestyle and landscapes, amongst others. So basically it's going to be a stock site using NFT technology. In addition to digital images, Kadabra will let participating artists offer physical prints of the images that Canon will fulfill. Kadabra will initially launch only in the United States and will support both credit and debit card and cryptocurrency payments. Had this been announced two years ago, then it would have been exciting news, but after last year's NFT crash, plus the fact there have been so many NFT scams, I just think it's a little bit too late. What do you think about today's subjects? I want to hear from you. Across on the photographyjunkery.com, you'll find the show notes with all the original articles linked and even dedicated space for you to share your thoughts in the community. And now for my favourite part of the show, the community spotlight. This is going to be the point in the show where I look at what's happening in the community. But as this is the first official podcast, there is not much happening just as yet. I do have a want to say hi to the new members of the community. 
and those members are Claire, Jan and along with Riley and Chloe who have already started to uh, actually post within the groups on there so I just want to say welcome to the site thank you for joining I hope you find it a great source of information and look forward to seeing what you post in the groups also, prior to the show, I put out a question for people to leave a message answering a question that I thought would be interesting to get some answers for. Unfortunately, the vast majority of the people that I asked did not come through and actually leave a message, such as the case it usually turns out. Uh, but a couple did, and I want to share those answers with you. And the question that I asked was, knowing what you know now, what advice would you give yourself to yourself if you were starting out fresh again and so with their answers they have gone to the photographyjunkie.com and on there in the contact me section uh, you have the ability to actually record your own voice message so that you can be featured on the show and i will open this question out to you the listener as well so i'm going to keep the same question of knowing what you know now what advice would you give yourself so if you think you've got an answer for that question uh, head over to the photographyjunkie.com and look in the contact section and you'll see a button there that says send a message to the photography junkie and i'd like to hear some uh, some of your answers in the meantime let's hear what's already been let's hear what's already been answered by a couple of people that have already left a message for me and see what we think okay so the first caller in today is john uh there's a little bit of an audio issue on this one so i will repeat what he said uh afterwards uh but here's john sounds a bit cliche but i would say definitely practice 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 and be confident in what you do um that's about it really all right take care good luck a big thanks for the uh for the luck there john so just in case you didn't hear John's advice was to practice, practice, practice. And I can't really uh, say anything other than that. They always say that uh, uh, an expert is somebody that spent 10,000 hours at their craft. So John's advice of practice, practice, practice is ideal. Uh, big thank you to John uh, for sending your message in. I hope you enjoy the podcast and look forward to hearing from you again. The next message that was received was from Paula. Full disclosure, Paula is somebody that I have interviewed and will be featuring on the show at, at some point. What date that is yet is currently undecided, uh, but you can look forward to a really enjoyable interview with Paula. And here's what she has to say. Knowing what I know now, I would tell myself just do it. Doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be grand and everything you've imagined. Done is better than perfect. So just do it. Stop wasting time. Don't wait for anything. Just go out and do it. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's excellent advice there. A lot of us are actually stopped by our own fears. We're stopped by, are people going to like this? Uh, are people going to make fun of me because of this? Uh, and I completely agree. Uh, even, even hosting this podcast, you have to just go out and do it. Uh, it's uh, advice that I've taken to heart myself. Um, I really appreciate you sending a message in, Paula. Look forward to sharing our interview with everybody and um, some great advice there. Okay, so finally up next is a long-term friend uh, called Jen. She's a uh, photographer based in the USA and she has a uh, decided to uh, call in and give her own advice. Here's Jen. I think the one thing that I didn't realize when I started is that all the fancy stuff is not necessary. The fancy editing, the fake images. Although fun to create and share with your clients, the only thing they really want is just a nice picture. Nothing complicated. 
and they also aren't going to see all of the flaws that you see. And Jay taught me that. Thanks, Jay. You are more than welcome, Jen. Um, it's true. Uh, a lot of the times photographers will get hung up on the critical focus and whether or not there's too much noise in an image or even just uh, just getting faffing around with the camera settings. Uh, while all that is important to a point, ultimately what matters is what you're delivering. And most of the time your customers are not going to see the, the, the faults that you see. They're, they're just going to see that moment, that, that cherished moment that you have hopefully captured. And it's going to be something that they value. And what they're not going to be looking for is how much noise you put in the image. Well, only if they're a photographer, they'll be looking at how much noise is in the image. Uh, it's much more important to capture the image and rather than to, 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 pick, to pixel peep. So that's it. That is the end of this week's show. Uh, next week, I've got for you a really interesting interview. I will leave the uh, the person unknown until then. If you've enjoyed the show, by all means, give us a comment or a like, or even give us a rating uh, on your podcast service of choice. Don't forget, you can join up at thephotographyjunkie.com and join our community and become part of the show. Each week, I'm going to be featuring things that are happening inside the community. Uh, so you may well get your name mentioned and even your questions answered. The question that I've asked everybody else, and just to remind you, that is knowing what you know now, what advice would you give yourself starting over again? You can record your answer by visiting the photographyjunkie.com and go into the contact section and you'll see the option to record your voice. You can do it using your phone. You don't need any fancy equipment and it's free to do so. You don't even need to register. So I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you again next week. Here's the Photography Junkie out. <laughs>